Hi, so just been into the second one. Um, it's nice. It's not got the second reception room, but its kitchen is much bigger. It's got a back garden, which is closed off. So it'll take a bit of work to like clean it up, but it'll be fine. You should always look at potential, it will be fine. Big kitchen, it's got an all right front room. It's electrics are more up to date, it's boilers more up to date. I believe the date on the electric box was 2004, which is a bit more acceptable than Victorian era. So that's nice. Upstairs, decor's a lot better. It's not got the textured walls or ceilings. Um, to be fair, I might even leave that there, whatever it's got. And then the carpets are new as well. So this flat's ready to go. It's ready to rent. It's got the two rooms, good living room, kitchen, nice and big. Don't need to update its wiring, so that's a big cost off my mind. Don't need the carpet. Don't need the walls plastered. Um, bad points, it's a bit further away. So it's further out of town, so you can't really walk anywhere, there's no shops nearby. It's off this main road, it's got one bus route, so I've not even seen a bus come by, so I don't know how long it's going to take for a bus to come by. Ideally you'd probably have to drive then, if it's this far away from town, if it's got a bad bus link. But then another thing is, it's road. The street it's on is an unadopted road. What does this mean? It means that the council's not taking it on. Council's taking no responsibility to maintain and repair the road. So, the road is a stone gravel road. It's full of potholes. It's not level. It's not flat. This road has to be paid for by all these residents and quite frankly they're not maintaining it especially when if it's rental properties and not private properties then why would I pay for it you know so I wouldn't like to park my own car there let alone anyone else's other than that yeah you could get away with parking the estate agents park there so why not at least this doesn't have two shops pegging it, especially in a uh, takeaway with late night trade. So, location's a little worse, the road's a little worse, house itself is actually better. If I was to let this out to a professional or a commuter, why would I have this one? as a commuter without a car to commute into Manchester Ashton when this is a bit further out I can't walk to the train station as well so that's probably my deciding factor in this one yeah location is too far out I want to have that bus route or I want to have that tram route within arm's reach because I don't want to get up early in the morning and walk all the way down there just to get to tram, not even to get to work, you know, to get to the tram to get to work. Hey ho. Right, so onwards to third one. We'll see what that one's like. Not too sure I'm going to put an offer in for any of these ones, to be fair. Focus on one project at a time, maybe. If the offer's right, I'll snap up. But see you at the next one. Right, I've just arrived at the third one of the day. This is the last one. And actually, from the area, it looks much better. So it's closer to the centre. It's closer to the transport links, therefore. If you look across the road, there are lovely houses, to be fair. Let's see if I can turn you around. So, with these houses, the road's wider, so your parking's better. The people 
is better. The area is wider, more airy, more lighter. And so everything about this street is going for it. So the street's better, location's closer. It's just a matter of going inside and seeing what the inside's like. It looks like it's quite a motivated seller because they've put it on with two different agents for some reason. So they've marketed a couple of times. And there's one to let just a few doors down. So I'm going to ask her if she knows what that's rented out for as well. Externally for the property itself, I see UPVC all over. So it tells me that there's been money put into this at some point. But we'll need to see. So hold on there. Let me go in and have a look. Right, so the third house. The third house has a better location as it's much closer to the centre. Its street is wider, yet quieter. And across the road there are houses with front gardens, so it's quite wide and um, airy. It's got a lot of light to it, which is nice. It's got a back garden, it's got decking. Back garden is a good standard. It's got an outhouse actually, with a toilet intact. The front room, average size, all good. The kitchen, nice and big, seems to have like a breakfast bar. Appliances look new enough. Going upstairs, the big room is very big and the small room is very small but it's something that I can work with Toilet The fixture's been ripped out and the boiler's been ripped out so it's not the best it will need some attention other than that, decoration needs quite a fair bit of attention as well everything that's supposed to be white is actually yellow so I'll need it completely painted, wallpaper stripped, made it glossed, everything. Add to that, another viewer came back with a builder and they were talking about the damp. There's damp in the walls and that could be caused by a leak from the outside, which is just a lot of work and this could run into bills, a lot of bills. So is it something I want to take up now? Not for my first two. I mean, I don't mind putting in a little bit of work, but I want to get some sort of cash flow first in order to fund the rest of the works. So I'm not on a limited pot. If I manage to get a couple rented out, then if you drag the time, your pot of money is pretty much unlimited, isn't it? So that will pay that back. So I told the agent, the viewer, that um, yeah I do do some work but at this stage I want my first two to be ready to go. After that I'll be able to fund projects later on down the line. So it's not something I want to do right now put a lot of time and effort in. The other thing is because it's a corporate sale so what's happened is it was repossessed and then say the mortgage or the bank has put it up for sale. Because it's a corporate sale I could go under with a good offer but right up to the last second if somebody offers a little bit more they'll take it because it's business in the, the day they want to have more money and the other factor is they want it quick so if you've got a cash cash waiting they'll snap it up because they want the money and they want it quick it's banking it's banking for you dog eat dog world isn't it 
So of the three, which one do I prefer? I prefer the one, the first one. Although the off-put on that is that it's got the shops either side, but it's all right. Um, the second one was ready to go, but it is further away. So, of the three, we'll put an offer in. I'm not feeling it. Honestly, I'm not feeling it. I don't think they're ready to go yet. I think they all need a bit of work. Uh, the one that doesn't lead to work is obviously further away, so it's not as good for renting out. So that's my conclusion on that. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled and keep my eyes on the market. Make sure you put on updates for your area and parameters and that's the best thing to do so once it comes up you know you can go straight in put an offer in and you should do the same too because you never know when the right one might come along so that's it for this video I'll see you for the next one whatever that may be. Take care.